years ago, um, she was here and uh, the, the tone was very somber. And today, the tone is still somber, but also very positive as we remember Holly for all of her uh, accomplishments and everything that she stood for and represented. And uh, we're very proud to say that she's from Taylor. We're very proud to have the monument on display. Unfortunately, we did have to move it back into the back of the, um, the um, plaza here to avoid any other future damage, but uh, we'll proudly display it, Mom, and um, we will continue to honor Holly's memory from this day forward. So thank you. We look forward to all of you seeing the, the new position and the new location, and um, thank you again for all coming out. And thank you, Chris, for, for coming and your son. I see you guys uh, have the same barber, the same, the same haircut, so thank you all very much. Thank you. Paul, I just want you to know that there is not a day goes by that how is isn't remembered in the city. Oh, there isn't a Veterans Commission meeting that somehow, somewhere in our conversations, she's a brother and father. She'll never be that. Okay, next is going to be the um, reading of the deceased veterans. All of the names that are listed are on memorial out there, and um, some that may not be, but are on our list to remember. So I'm going to, I'm going to start with reading the Civil War veterans, Efren Taylor, John Wells, Walter Tucker, Chaz Tucker, Rick Lemon, C.H. Manning, Emmanuel Brast, Barnes Lidegott, Louis Bullock. Next will be the World War II names that are listed on the monument, and Ozark Snyder was going to read them for the VFW. However, he fell, I understand he's okay, I hope. Um, but God bless one of our veterans who always steps up to the plate. So Tim Willie is going to read the names for VFW for you. World War II, John M. Arbaugh, Frank Asenmacher, Del Barnes, Clement J. Darrow, Ralph E. Boaz, Marvin R. Boyk, Donald E. Burdick, Robert F. Conroy, Albert T. Dawson, Oliver L. Douglas, William C. Ellison, Joseph A. Ferraro, Ralph E. Graves, Jr., Lawrence H. Ferris, Robert J. Ferris, John C. Haxer, Wesley Kleinkoff, Clarence B. Martin, Robert McNeil, C. H. Nugent, Anton C. Potachan, Buckley W. Renier, Frederick M. Van Tool, Harry E. Weiss, David T. Woodson, Jr. Thank you, Tim. Uh, the Korean monument, names of the monument for the Korean War will be read by uh, Thomas Collins, Jr., 
William R. Dickerson, James Fisher, Theodore Bronowski, Jr., William Lamar, Alan Lambs, Andrew M. Madden, William Meyer, Paul Peterson, Larry Michael Robinson, Burton Sharp, Ronald Smith, Dennis A. Stevens, James Tankersley, Carl Tomlin, Donald Welkopola. And we have one name for the Iraq War entrance, would you please come to the honor? Richard Wrightag, Bruce, Bruce Lampert, Howard Carrot Pankey, Roy Irona, Jerry Lyons, Charles Perot, Robert Callahan, Father Edward Zau. Robert Birch, Robert Johnson, Everett Nichols, Heston Nash, Tillman Williams, Jr., Stanley W. Newsom, James Smart, Ellis Carrickson, Preston Black, Dwayne Pizarro, Ralph E. Hartzog, Sr., Wilbert Willard Bush, Jr., Joseph William Fitzpatrick, Robert Eugene Gray, Richard Newick, Bellin Harmon, Roger Dodge, George Miller, Willard Stringer, John Primo Sr., Joseph Kisprazi, Dennis McBride, Wilbur Miller, William Enriant, Ross Reckinger, Theron A. Logan, Gary Ratowski, Martin Fiolik, William Nichols, Charles Emerson, Ricky Fuller, John Mazur, Joe Scarlett, Norman Nelson, Michael, this is a good one, D M Y T R Y S Z Y N, a lot of Y's there. I'll just let it go with that, I don't know, that one. Bobby Birch, 